Hello and welcome to another video by www.electricalpereview.com. In today's exercise, so we're going to be looking at the Texas Instruments TI-30X2S calculator for complex numbers. So we're going to start with a rectangular vector of x equals 10 plus j3, and we're going to convert that to the polar form. The first button to locate is the reel to polar button being drawn now in blue. This needs the second key to activate and lets us go to our menu to go between reel to polar and polar to reel. The next button to locate is the comma key, also being drawn now in blue. This is what's going to let us separate our magnitude value from our theta value or our reel component from our imaginary component and also requires the second key to activate. Okay, so we want to convert our x vector, currently in rectangular, to polar. We're going to select second R to P to access our reel to polar menu. We're going to select R dash PR for given a reel vector, find the polar magnitude. We're going to type in 10 for our reel component, comma 30, since that's our imaginary component, and hit enter. This gives us 31.62 and is the magnitude of our polar vector. Next we hit arrow up, second reel to polar, and slide over to the reel component to theta. Hit enter. Notice we already have our values in from last time, so we hit enter, and we've got 71.57. This is theta our angle of our polar vector. Let's draw our triangle showing both polar and rectangular. We've got a vector with magnitude 31.62 that has a real component of 10, an imaginary component of plus J30, and an angle of 71.57. Okay, let's do another one. This time, we're going to start in polar and work our way to rectangular using the calculator. So given a vector y in polar, the magnitude of 120 at an angle of 30 degrees, use the calculator to go to rectangular. So we're going to go to second real to polar. This time, tab all the way over to P to Rx. Given polar, find the real component of x. Type 120 for our magnitude, comma, 30 for our angle. Enter. This gives us 103.92. Go back up. Select real to polar again. Slide all the way over to P to Ry. Hit enter. Hit enter one more time. We've got our imaginary component of 60. Let's draw a triangle showing both our polar and our rectangular. We've got a vector magnitude 120 at a phase angle of 30 with a real component of 103.92, an imaginary component of plus J60. Now let's take a minute to talk about the limitations of this calculator. Unfortunately, you can't add and multiply from rectangular to polar. Anytime you're dealing with a formula that calls for one or the other, you're going to have to use the calculator to step its way through and convert to each form that you need for the problem. For example, if you're doing polar and you're given rectangular, you can't use this to go straight through it. So think about that and decide if this calculator is right for you. It definitely helps to know all the steps to get through your complex numbers. However, this is a timed exam, so every minute counts. That's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed this neat calculator tutorial. For more examples and our premium practice exam, please visit us at www.electricalpereview.com.